what are the best ways to get lymph moving? Do you know that lymph is moving in your body? It is moving on its way, so you cannot do anything else but help nature on its way. So in your thoracic duct, the largest lymphatic vessel in your body, you have an average on a resting person, 80 to 100 milliliter of lymph per hour moving. So it moves on its own. And it moves by direct and indirect factors. The direct factors is called the lymph angions. Lymph with the angion like angiology, meaning the little heart inside the limb vessels that most of the mammals have. So you have a little contracted unit, little heart separated by two valves. I can still see in PT schools, osteopathic schools, medical schools, in the description of the lymphatic system as a passive system, while the system is actually controlled by the little movement of the little muscles. So it's not something that you squeeze like you squeeze a toothpaste. You want to re-stimulate the contraction of those muscular units located in the limb vessels from the external layer the tunica externa and the middle layer, the tunica media. So it's controlled by the autonomic nervous system. You have this nice contraction. So this happens all the time in your body, but this is not enough. Those lymph angions are not that strong. They are, by the way, not skeletal muscle. They are not cardiac muscle. They are not smooth muscle. They are new type of vessels. So one day we're going to have in your anatomy book, there are four types of muscle, not three. You have the lymphatic muscle, a separate type of muscle, which is a mix of the three others. They are not strong enough, which means that if you don't exercise at all, don't breathe, don't stimulate your lymphatic vessel, or if you stay on a wheelchair and do nothing, you may have a wheelchair edema, swelling caused by the lack of activity. The other factor are also important, which is anything that compresses the thorax, compress your thoracic duct, deep breathing, beating of the arteries. The lymphatic are often close to arteries, especially in the thorax or abdomen. Contraction of the spoon's muscles when you digest, of skeletal muscle when you exercise. When you laugh, you have this deep breathing, beating of the artery, contraction of muscles, contraction of the diaphragm. Laughing is a very good stimulant of the lymphatic circulation. It's gentle and it's just a very nice way to help the lymph system and it's very beneficial for health. So don't think we have to stay serious by laughing, have a lot of humor. This helps your lymphatic system. One more thing is external compression. So when you swim, you can help your lymph system. And when you use your hands to stimulate the movement of the lymph through the lymphatic vessels, that's a great way to help your lymphatic system. The idea is not to force the lymphatic to move, but re-stimulate and by the palpation of the direction of the lymph and the speed of the lymph, you can help it without forcing it. Forcing it is not always good. What if you have a lot of toxin in lymph? It's too much for your lymph node to detox. What if you have poison? You don't even know. Sometimes the lymphatic don't want to move too fast. They don't want to bring too much toxins too fast to your to lymph nodes. So the idea is not to stimulate everything. The more, more the better. Bring a certain amount of lymph regularly to your lymph nodes, but not trying to move the most lymph the fastest during your session. If you palpate your lymph, you're going to see that the lymph vessels stop. You stop with them. When they restart, you restart with them. Sometimes you go somewhere else. You go back to the initial location and your lymphatics want to drain again. You don't want to force it to drain. You want to follow the body. And that's one of the specificity of our school is to feel the specific flow of the lymph system for a specific patient, which is the direction of the flow, depth of the flow. Is that on the skin, on the muscle, on the bone, the quality of the lymph flow and the rhythm, specific rhythm. You remember one thing is don't think laughing is not serious. It's very, very serious for your health.